All right, everything is changed. I mean, the we haven't gone back to the Mist Continent yet, but uh, we are led to believe, though, that the Mist has disappeared, and that's going to have a dramatic change on the way that that uh, the different societies on that continent exist. But we're still being pursued by the Queen, who wants... Well, I don't know why she still wants Dagger, aside from the the pendant, and we don't know why she wants that. But things are getting, uh... Things getting intense. Uh, you know, I've forgotten exactly where I'm supposed to be going, so I'm gonna head back to the tree. Oh, that's right, we got a new, uh... We got a new character here. One that is capable of, uh... Another character that's good for damage and stuff, not just for, uh casting spells and whatnot. So let's go in... Well, he's got the throw command. Flare, huh? There's magic there. Oh, she's been raged. That's gonna suck. Come on, Vivi. Well, that one's dead. Now, quite a while ago, I had made mention of the fact that you... <laughs> weak attack takes him out. You don't want to be gaining too many levels in the early parts of the game. Now, it doesn't really have anything to do with the levels themselves, but it has to do with the crystals that you get as you level up. And it relates to this new character here. See, so check this out. Now, this guy is always going to be coming into the party with this set number of crystals here. At least the way I understand it. He's going to be coming in with the set number of crystals, and these abilities that he has are going... Like, it, the further into the game you get, the higher his level is going to be, because his level is based on an average of your other characters. So, 24. But... The number of crystals he has, which he would normally gain while leveling up, is dependent on this, um... Oh, look at that. Is dependent on... Nothing. Like, he's always going to begin coming in at 27. So if you manage to bring him in at a lower level, he's going to have a higher crystal growth as the game progresses. Now, I didn't really pay too much mind to that, because it doesn't make the game significantly harder in any, any real way. So I didn't put a lot of attention to that. Let's keep the current members. Now, the tree was part of his plan, although he doesn't seem to be too broken up over the idea of it being deactivated. I guess maybe... Well, we don't really know what he was planning on using the mist for, or what he was using the mist for, other than making the black mages. Its destruction doesn't seem to have affected his plan significantly. In fact, he seems to be amused by the whole concept of the tree being deactivated.
Well, he joined our party, but I didn't seem to be too happy about it. carrying too many white mages. Just make sure that my characters are good to go. Uh... Okay, that'll do. We have a bit of a power struggle between the Queen and Kuja. 
Eh, just random monsters. We can take them out. No fight against the big bad here. It doesn't seem like Kuja ever really had any kind of respect for the Queen anyway. Just sort of... He seemed to have been using her for whatever his goal is. And the same seems to have gone with her. She didn't really have any respect for Kuja either. In fact, I'd be willing to bet it was her intention the entire time to eventually go and... Betray him and try to kill him. Like she's doing now. Of course, he seems to have had the same plan himself. Her plans are pretty obvious. She wants to rule the world. She wanted the... Uh, what are they called in this game? The summon monsters. She wanted those, and... But his goals are a little bit more cryptic. We don't know what he's really up to. At least not yet. Another battle. I guess it's against the same things. Now it seems as though Kuja is attempting... Well, the battle's going on between these mist monsters that Kuja is summoning forth to fight her. And she, the queen, is attempting to go and... Um, to go and summon a massive spell by the black mages she has under her command, which are also creations of the mist, by the way. To cast a large spell, but she's trying to hold him back with the cannons on her warships at, uh, beforehand. So, Oh, there's a Moogle back there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go back. Yeah, why the hell not? Now, this attempt at fighting that the Queen is doing... Kuja is sort of laughing at. He doesn't really see any significant threat in what she's doing. And he's trying to goad her into... Oh, shit! <laughs> he 
trying to goad her into committing herself to a larger attack of some sort. Although, um, I guess he maybe is referring to the Eidolons, because she has taken them out of... She took them out of Dagger, and... That's her ultimate power. She destroyed Lindblom with it, she destroyed Clara with it. She probably would have used them against Bermica had she had access to them at the time. Oh, they're asleep. It's stupid. Should I just take it out with the... Yeah, why the hell not? I guess we gotta run, 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 because those monsters are gonna be a coming. And where is the next one? Oh, okay, I guess we got down there before I had a chance to hit us. Is this Leviathan? Can't use the tidal wave power to save somebody who's on a ship. <laughs> 